Yeah, man! Hello, this is scallops. Today I'm gonna cook half a pound of scallops for you. It's frozen right now, so the best way to defrost it is to keep it at room temperature until it's softened by itself or put the bag in a bowl of water and allow it to defrost. I don't recommend put the raw scallops in water. Hello, my name is Miguel and today I'm gonna make for you scallops curry stew. I'm only gonna cook half a pound it's frozen, allow it to defrost. I'm cooking half a pound of scallops. I'm also going to use asparagus just to demonstrate and I'm also going to use okra just to demonstrate. You're going to need a stack of scallion, a large onion or two medium sized onion, small piece ginger, about half inch piece ginger, About six garlic cloves, spring of thyme, basil, a tablespoon of dried basil, tablespoon dried parsley. You can use any of these herbs fresh. Chop it fine though. Two tablespoons of curry powder, half a quarter cup of coconut oil, half scotch bonnet pepper, pimento berries a teaspoon of grinded rosemary visit jamaicardinners.com for the recipe first prepare and gather all vegetables the ingredients we're going to use today I'm starting with this scallion so do as you see me doing remove dying leaves cut off ends cut off the root end and the tip of the leaf that's dying Remove the leaf or peel garlic, cut ends, trim spoilage if you see any. Cut half piece ginger. The skin of the ginger is mineral, so if you can keep it, that's best. I cut the onion in half, it's easier to handle. Peel onion, remove brown leaf. Remember now, first layer of the onion is the strongest. So just remove the brown leaf. The only way you remove the first layer of the onion, unless it's spoiling. This is my asparagus. Asparagus can be eaten raw, so it's not gonna take much cooking, maybe about two minutes the most. The supermarket prepared it already. Trim off the, the root and the hard leaves. This is my okra. Alright, so you can make this meal with just the okra or just use the asparagus. You can use string beans as well. Carrot, Irish potato, stuff like that. Once you do that, you're gonna give her vegetables. We're gonna rinse now. Or wash her vegetables. Get a bowl add some water. Drizzle several drops of distilled white vinegar. About a tablespoon or so. First, wash, use your fingers and kind of gently rub the asparagus clean. 
supermarket probably do a good job in cleaning these but wash them again yes as I was saying so today I'm gonna cook both I'm gonna use the okra and the asparagus just to demonstrate to you that it works all right so you saw me rinse off the garlic and the okra now the scallion sometimes it's dirty so you gotta use your fingers and wash scallion's leaf properly onion need not wash Finally the thyme stick, a piece of ginger. Wash the skin of the ginger properly. Alright, I threw that water off, throw on some fresh water. Alright now listen. It's best if you do this part on the fresh running water. I'm just demonstrating. This is just for demonstration purpose. Alright, so give your vegetables a final rinse. You see our vegetables clean and pretty? That's what you want. Now we're gonna dice and slice. All right, so I have two containers. Add one, add two. In natural cooking, I like to add my ingredients twice. To me, it's, it's, Alright, to me, you get a better flavor that way. Because if you add all the ingredients at once, sometimes the ingredients will cook out and the meat still not finished cook. So if you add the ingredients twice, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of richen and, 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 and ensure that the stew, is, stew has flavor. Alright, so do as you see me doing. Slice or dice the onions. Put half in container one and half in container two. You saw me slice and dice the scallion first. So divide the scallion as well. Now with the okra cut off ends. If you were just using okra you could have diced the okra and add them near to the end. But like I said, this is for, you can also keep it old. This is spring of time. Oh no, I'm dicing the scallion. So dice scallion. Put half in container one and half in container two. So I'm just trimming off just the end part where it's not so pretty. See, I just taste the end of this asparagus and, and, it, and I'm eating it right now. Alright, as I was saying, keep ingredients separate.
separate in container one. Now grind garlic to puree or pulp. You can use a knife and mash it, mash it as well. You know. I didn't say earlier, but you should have saved one of the garlic. Save one of the garlic because we're going to use it to burn the curry with the ginger. I don't remember saying it, but I, I did it. So um, just remember to save a garlic and the ginger. Now measure and add a tablespoon. You can use up to a tablespoon and a half of dried parsley. Remember, you can use any of these herbs fresh. Just chop it fine. Now, measure and add a tablespoon of sweet basil, dried sweet basil. I'm using a teaspoon of grinded rosemary. Be sure the rosemary is grinded fine. Because if it's not grinded fine, you're going to see these rosemary leaves. These big rosemary leaves in the stew. And that don't look good. Oh, I forgot water was on the plate. So I'm just going to drain. Drain this water off. Hoping, hoping all that herb don't run off. That's what you want. That's container one. Container two, asparagus, okra, dried pimento berries optional, berries are optional, but if you could get them, it would be good. Cooking with dried pimento berries really enhances a meal, really enhances the flavor of a meal, especially in natural cooking. One more thing, just to get just to get all our ingredients gathered in one place. I'm now adding half scotch bunny pepper. Listen, if you don't have access to scotch bunny pepper, you can always use shredded red pepper, which is available everywhere, which is chili pepper. Use like quarter teaspoon. All right, so this is a scallops. Scallops is like a a shell. This meat here, it, it comes between two shells. Like I said, it's best if you defrost it in the bag. Don't put it in the water and, and let it get soft because I believe it's going to soak up the water and, and let it be water ridden. I'm only going to cook half pound today. The, the ingredients calls for half pound of scallops. I put half pound of scallops in a bowl. Put the scallops in a bowl. Drizzle several drops of distilled white vinegar, add water, and just rinse it off at the same time. And just rinse it off immediately. Just drain it off immediately. This is scallops. It's a seafood snail. I'm trying to remember the name of the shell with the two shell where the pearls sometimes come in. They have all sorts of different names. Apparently this is called scallops. I think it's kind of costy. 
but all seafood all seafood tends to be expensive so that does not want three quarter of the other so whatever i must say it's it's a lovely meat it's white and ten hard no oh, let me start stop put to heat a medium i'm using a medium sized saucepan put the stove gauge on too low for now add the ginger the garlic to the saucepan let's allow it we're gonna add a curry next as i was saying now the meat is white tender beautiful meat it's it's lean it can be leaner than lean um it's flavorful meaning initially it it reminds me of Irish potato like has a little little teeny bit of flavor of Irish potato in it to me like 20% Irish potato flavor other than that it it has the flavor of ocean like pure clean ocean curry flavored ocean the meat is firm it's not as how it looks it looks soft but it's not as how it looks it's a very firm meat it's not as tough as conch and it's not as soft as shrimp so it's in between there somewhere all right so measure and add two tablespoons of curry powder Fry nice curry powder I heard English people talk about brown curry. Well, that's a different thing. We don't use, I never heard anybody talk about brown curry in Jamaica. But we are used to this curry, this nice yellow looking, orange looking curry, curry powder. Now, use a fork and poke it in the ginger. And then do as you see me doing, use the soft, ginger use, poke it in the garlic sorry and then use the soft part of the garlic and rub it on the pot bottom and burn the curry we call this burn in the curry to me it adds additional flavors and it made the curry kind of creamy too not so grainy after about 20 between 30 seconds of stir frying add oil i use half of quarter cup of coconut oil i use coconut oil but add you can use any cooking oil. Now add the scallop. Add each scallop to the to the burning curry in the eating oil. And just allow it to, to kind of coat. 10-15 seconds and then you use a cooking spoon and stir in and coat all your scallops curry powder thoroughly. After that, add ingredients from container one. Half of the herbs. And add salt. We used, we using a tablespoon of salt. Like I said, I use, I use sea salt. All right, so once you do that, use a cooking spoon and stir it in. Stir in your ingredients with the curry coating, the scallops with vegetables. Now add the half of the tablespoon of salt. Stove's gauge is on two still. Just low. You don't want the curry to burn too fast because if you do, it's gonna get black. Now, do as you see me doing. Add two tables, two cups of water, and along with, followed by, followed by a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. Stir it in. Use the saucepan's lid and cover the saucepan properly and the stove's gauge is on four Meet, turn the stove's gauge on four medium low and keep the lid on seal within the time sealed within the time don't open it open it every minute don't open it every minute
15 minutes later and this is what our collops curry stew looks like the curry looks pretty do as you see me doing stir it in look at your stew see where you're going now would be a best time to add ingredients from container one and the rest of the herbs the, the other half of the tablespoon of salt that we used that we're using I'll start in use the pans lid cover it back up keep it sealed stove gauge is on four allow 25 minutes now I didn't open it within the time I kept the lid on the pan sealed within the time look how creamy that looks so this is what it looks like stir your pot in look at your stew look at how thick the gravy is if you like the color of the curry that's what you want if you're cooking scallops for the first time, check the check how tender it is. Now would be a good time to remove the time stick. It tends to splash and mess your stove up. Might burn you. looking for the pepper because of the color of the pepper and the color of the stew it's hiding oh there it goes now would be a best time to remove the pepper as well add if you're using okra add your okra okra will take around five three between five minutes to cook this asparagus will don't really need cooking but it probably will take about a minute between two to cook put the lid back on and allow this is our asparagus so time is 28 minutes this is our scallops curry stew the stew is thickening as you can see it's thickening just right oh yes butter if you're into butter, now would be a good time to add about a tablespoon of butter that would kind of spruce the flavor up somewhat. Add the asparagus, use the pan's lid, cover it back, and allow. Stove gauge is on four, medium low, allow. 30 minutes now, and this is what it looks like. The stew is thickening, you saw the stew stick to the pot's bottom. When the stew starts to stick, to the pot's bottom that's a sign to say the stew is thick enough and just right if you want you can turn the stove up leave the lid off and just stir it in and, and, and thicken the gravy some but this is this is finished this is just right finish turn the stove off use the pan's lid and cover it until serving but first I have to show you how juicy this this scallops curry stew looks visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe now it's time to serve before serving any meals stir your pot in moist up your meat so i'm going to take out these asparagus don't want it to break. So take a scoop of this delicious looking scallops curry stew and lay it and lay it on your dinner plate. This is scallops curry stew. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, share. You should try cooking this meal yourself. Give us feedback when you do.
Alright, so you're gonna Scallops. watch me eat this Scallops. curry stew. Curry stew. I'm having it. I'm just gonna. Oh. I'm having it full of right rice. Like a woman. You can probably eat this with Sorry. mashed potatoes. It just do. Look at it. By itself, it looks like a steamed vegetable woman. Add more asparagus and you eat it with the asparagus alone. You don't must add butter but it would kind of give it a different flavor look how juicy this looks and I didn't add butter to this I'm gonna taste it look at it alright so this is my scallops curry stew this meat is very delicious it's the flavor of ocean it tastes like the sea Initially, initially it, to me it has like a very tiny flavor of Irish potato. My asparagus, tender and nice. I only cooked it for two minutes. I only cooked this asparagus for two minutes. The gravy is just right herbs blend lovely with this meal the um, rosemary goes well with it I forgot to take out an okra you could have just used okra alone it would have made this meal it would have made this scallop curry stew lovely okra would go well with this scallops curry stew you can see the meat is not soft it's just right firm it's juicy And it tastes just as how it looks. You could have used string beans instead. You could have used diced Irish potato instead. You could have used carrot. You could have used um even zucchini you just dice it and add it at the end um you know vegetables like those you could have used Alright, you see me enjoy this scallops curry stew. It was really, really a nice meal. I see myself eating this regular as well. It seems to be healthy. It's big and bold on the package. Say it's cholesterol free or whatever it said. Um, don't do like me with the asparagus. Serve it raw and pour the scallop scour stew over it. Until next time. Bye. Yeah, man!